And let's uh, put out uh, more news break coming in. Uh, the DM DMK has landed itself uh, in a controversy once again. It's uh, a DMK wing that has uh, posted a distorted map of India, which it excludes Jammu and Kashmir. So a distorted map that excludes Jammu and Kashmir has been posted by DMK's NRI wing. No statement that has uh, been issued by the DMK top leaders uh, as of yet. But uh, the very fact that this map that has been put out by a wing affiliated with, with uh, the Tamil Nadu ruling party. All right, we will just uh, try and go across to our reporters as well in just a bit. But there you see, uh, that's the map that's been posted by DNK's NRI wing, uh, which uh, has excluded Jammu and Kashmir. A statement is awaited uh, from the DNK top leaders. Let's go across to Rakshita. She's joining us live from the newsroom. Uh, Rakshita, not the first time, of course, that the DMK has landed itself in a controversy in recent days. Uh, but once again, if you can show us that map, uh, what exactly does it show? Uh, the map that has been posted by DMK's NRI wing. Absolutely, of course. This has uh, now, uh, you know, stormed the political face of also a war of words between the BJP and the uh, DMK in the alliance. Also, remember DMK uh, NRI wing. This is the overseas wing that has now stoked this controversy by sharing this map. And you know, we've seen such map being shared by maybe China, distorted map, uh, you know, sharing uh, shared by China, by Pakistan. But this is a party from within the country. This is a regional party uh, of Tamil Nadu. This is the ruling party, and this is the NRI wing, the overseas wing of. Uh, DMK and in fact BJP's uh, Tamil Nadu uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, unit has also now up the ante saying that uh, this is not the first time that uh, you know that uh, this uh, such thing has been done Udayanidhi Stalin has also been uh, accused of uh, sharing distorted map back in 2020 so uh, this is what is being said in fact Dr S G Surya who is the Tamil Nadu BJP state secretary has called out uh, the DMK in a very very strongly worded uh, uh, tweet there. He has said that uh, that similar incident has happened in 2020 involving Udayanidhi Stalin, who is now the Deputy Chief Minister, of course, uh, and is the son of uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. And uh, he said that uh, it was removed after I filed a complaint with then Police Commissioner. He deleted the video where Indian map was misrepresented, of course. So this uh, clearly raises many questions as to what could be the intentions of the DMK. We have seen many such, uh, uh, you know, tukre tukre mindset statements coming out from uh, the DMK leaders in the past as well and this could be just an example mm. of uh, uh, that once again right uh, requesting you rakshita to stay with us uh, uh, any statement that's coming from the dmk as of yet and also if you can once again uh, take us through the recent controversies you know in which uh, the dmk has uh, landed itself uh, in quite a soup when it comes to those not just uh, the remarks on sanatan dharm but other uh, issues as well Absolutely, of course. The latest is, as you pointed out, the remarks on Sanatan Dharam and uh, uh, the remorselessness of uh, Udayanadi Stalin. We've seen uh, Udayanadi Stalin saying that he will not apologize for, uh, you know, the way he has compared Sanatan Dharam uh, to dengue, to malaria, and also, in fact, called for its eradication. And he is the deputy chief minister. He holds a constitutional post, and despite that, he is unapologetic and remorseless. And he says that he will not apologize. He has called for eradication of an entire community. Uh, you know, Samiksha. And that's something that is very, very uh, problematic and it's, uh, of course, uh, uh, completely anti-national uh, the way, uh, right. you know, many of the statements have been uttered by uh, DMK leaders. And this is another example of that. Uh, of course, we have to wait and watch what the DMK has to say. Uh, Rakshita, stay with us. In fact, let's listen into that reaction that's coming in from Tamil Isai on that distorted map that's been posted. No, I strongly condemn this because they are known for their divisive politics. First, they told Tamil Nadu will be separate from uh, India, and they told Adindal Dravida Nadu, Illayandal Sudugadu, they told. And then, uh, actually, when they want to power, and they politically they uh, want to get the power, they compromise for, on that. So, this type of divisive politics, uh, the VMK should stop this uh, divisive politics and discriminating the other religious people from Hindus, and uh, uh, these type of divisive politics they cannot encash more because they were doing that before but now they cannot do they should stop this